Good afternoon. It's May 5th, 2024, and I want to talk about the Bermuda 100 campaign. I'm here at City Point, Virginia, now known as Hopewell, Virginia, to talk about that campaign that kicked off 160 years ago today, May 5th, 1864. But before I jump right into the campaign, I want to talk about the events that led up to uh, this campaign. By the spring of 1864, the war had been going on for three years. President Lincoln had been increasingly dissatisfied with events in the East, even with the victory at Gettysburg in July of 1863. Lincoln wanted a consistent winner. On March 2nd, 1864, he appointed General Grant as supreme commander of all of the Union forces. General Grant's reputation was obvious. Many victories in the Western theater, certainly the greatest of which was the victory at Vicksburg in Mississippi, which effectively uh, granted control over the entire Mississippi to the federal forces. President Lincoln promoted General Grant to Lieutenant General and gave him the command over all of the forces on March 2nd, 1864. About a week later, Grant arrived in Washington, D.C. to confer with President Lincoln. Grant wanted to propose, and did propose, his plan to defeat the Confederacy for good. Five strategic objectives, five strategic operations. Grant informed Lincoln that he would not be a desk general in an office in Washington, D.C., that he would put his command with the Army of Potomac under General Meade, the hero of the Battle of Gettysburg. Meade, of course, was somewhat concerned that he would be relieved of command, but that is not what happened. Grant put his headquarters with Meade, but allowed Meade to direct control over the Army of the Potomac. When Lincoln and Grant met, Grant put forth his five-point plan. The Army of Potomac, the Army of the Potomac, would directly engage General Lee in Northern Virginia, push it ever increasingly south, hopefully to Richmond, where it could be encircled and trapped. General Sherman, Grant's able lieutenant in the West, would push his Atlanta campaign to defeat the Confederate forces under General Johnson and his army of Tennessee, capture Atlanta, and then continue on. Further south, out of New Orleans, in uh, operation to, uh, to um, control Mobile and Alabama, Nathaniel Banks would be given that role to secure that, the southern port of the Confederacy, and then once that's done, to then link up with Sherman and continue to harass General Johnston's forces in Georgia and beyond. In the Shenandoah Valley, Franz Siegel, General of Federal Forces there, would come up the valley from Northern Virginia, up the valley to harass Confederate forces in the Shenandoah Valley, essentially the breadbasket of the Confederacy. And then here, where we are now, General Butler would be in command of the Army of the James, 30,000 forces, would leave behind me the James River in the east, would come up the James with his 30,000 forces, land here at City Point, and Bermuda 100 and 
where the Confederacy was most vulnerable in between Richmond and Petersburg, defeat the forces there, cut the ties south of Richmond um, in the communication and transportation ties south, and break the back. These five objectives Grant proposed and President Lincoln accepted would effectively destroy the Confederacy. And that is what culminated here, or what commenced, sorry, here as the Bermuda 100 campaign.